So I live in Michigan in zone five, and according to the charts, that means I should have an R value in the attic of R49. Um, I've gone up there and measured several times, and I believe I have between nine and 12 inches of insulation. That means I only have an R value of R30. So I've been looking for some cheap insulation to buy, and I found this at Menards. You're supposed to use the big machine, you put it in and blow it all over the attic. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to spread it by hand and I'm just going to use a rake to try to fluff it up and get that extra three to five inches of insulation in the attic where I need it. Um, I'll put links in the description to the insulation I'm using. If you're doing three or four bags, not a big deal, but if you're doing 16 like I am, this is going to be more work getting the bags up there. Okay, now up into the attic. Okay, here we are up in a small corner of the attic. And you can see here's the existing insulation. Just cut it open, fluff everything out, and spread it out. So let's get started. So taking the utility knife, I'm gonna cut right down the middle. Here's what the material looks like. We wanna get all that fluffed up. And then take the rake really just get it all fluffed up. It's been a couple weeks and I've learned a few more things about the insulation. So I'm happy with how that area turned out in the end, but I think I could have done better at fluffing it up more and providing more R value and making it more effective. So here's some things I'm gonna change. One, I have a drill with a, a mixer paddle. I use this for mixing grout. And I have a large plastic tote. So what I'm gonna do now, instead of just spreading it and fluffing it with the rake, I'm gonna mix it in this tote first, fluff it up, and then spread it up. Hopefully getting it uh, fluffier and providing more insulation value. So that's about a third of the bag and I'll start fluffing that up. And again, if you can see right here, here's the joint, and I could stick my hand down the edge of this insulation down this board. So if I can fill that in, that's an air gap that I'm blocking with this insulation all around these posts. And just for reference, this is just one bag. So that's probably an inch or two over a 10 by 10 air. So I think this is a better amount. Just kind of fill up half of the bucket and then fluff it all the way up. Otherwise you're not able to compact this stuff here at the bottom. So I'm really liking this method a lot better. I'm, I feel like I'm getting it fluffed up a lot more. You can see there's no big chunks. It's really fluffed and will provide a lot more R value. So just using a drill and a little mixer or anything, this is really easy, there's no resistance. So anything that you can get in there and just fluff it up more before you spread it, makes it a lot easier. You don't have to do much as much work with a rake or by hand breaking it all up. So back to the rest of the video.
So you can see how quickly that went. That was two bags. It took, I don't know, five minutes and we covered half this area. Two more bags and we'll be done with, you know, a 12 by 12 area. So you can see once you get up here and you have room and you can spread it out and rake it and fluff it out, it goes pretty quickly. So that's all it takes. Um, it took about 10 minutes. I did four bags covered an area about 15 by 12. Um, it really wasn't a lot of work. You just want to keep working it, fluffing that insulation up, filling in all the cracks between the joists and the insulation, making sure no heat can escape. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, there is a DTE energy rebate you can get too. I saw something like save $129 or they'll give it back to you in rebates. So I have to read more about that, what you have to submit, but you can get an additional rebate on your energy. So you're saving money on heating, you're going to get a rebate on the, the DTE energy or consumer's energy. You're going to get, um, if you buy the insulation cheap, I got it for half off with mail-in rebates and clearances. Uh, but you can see just a rake, utility knife, a mask, and some headlights. You can use the blower, and, and I recommend if you're going to do a big area, you're going to want the blower. It'll save you energy having to carry the bags upstairs, having to carry them through the attic door. Um, and move, mess around with that. All you have to do is get there with the hose. But for a small area like this, it can totally be done with just a rake and just your hands and hand tools. So um, let me know what you think. Thanks.